colors of the rainbow the dropping of the mango the flowing of the flame the shining of the moon the rising of the sun convert of day and night all these are the biggest examples for those who believe in the wisdom welcome back to my youtube channel dear guys today i am here with another topic science topic today the subject is science the topic is physical quantity dear guys in our daily life we often buy and sell the things let's suppose if i need to buy cloth i go to the shop and say the shop people give me 5 meters cloth 10 meters cloth 15 meter cloths so what is this if i need sugar i go to the shop say the shopkeeper give me 5 kilograms of sugar if i want to buy anything else i need to say the shopkeeper and the shopkeeper will measure that thing and for the measuring there is any particular specific reliable unit is needed let's suppose if i want to buy clothes meter will be used over there as a unit if i buy sugar kilogram will be used as a unit if i buy anything else there will be certain and unit in which we can measure anything so the guys if we need petrol i will just say to the person please give me two liters if i want to buy milk i say to the person give me two liters of milk so this is the unit so dear guys do you know what is physical quantity anything that can be measured or counted is known as what physical quantity in our daily life often we i think measure all the things and we count the things let's suppose if i need banana i go to the shop say the person give me two dozen banana three dozen banana if i want to buy eggs i will just say the person give me two dozen eggs in this regard in our daily life we often measure or count the things so the major or count the things is a very important to note so anything that can be counted or measured is known as what is known as physical quantity so there are so many physical quantities like mass length temperature current amount of substance luminous intensity momentum torque force work heat energy capacitance and several others so dear guys this is a very simple definition for you to remember and dear, dear guys, physical quantity can be classified in two main categories. One will be scalar, other will be vector. So, inshallah, I will just explain further scalars, vectors, and other topics of science in my next videos. I hope that you will watch my this full video and you will just, I think, remember and get the concept of the definition of the physical quantity. So, thank you very much for watching and subscribing my video. Thank you very much.